But if you close your eyes Hi guys, so come to an interesting video by Maximus Today we're back with more Injustice Gods Among Us And today we'll be doing the Master's Death card So yeah, let's quickly um, get to the Death card And I didn't really... I remember too well what the death card does actually because uh, I've been really busy. I haven't been doing too much of injustice except for you know doing the seasons for this two pieces of gear. But let's just um, fuse it up and we'll go on from there. And I just realized we have basically no green shots um, from the Tantu Totem video and we need some blue as well. So we're going to quickly shatter some gear. And what do we have? Kryptonian rifle. Um, this will give us a couple of green shards. Try to shatter some chest plates. All right, that that will do the trick. I'm gonna shatter all these chest plates. And yes, when I was playing Survivor and trying to get the entire Lex Corp set, I did get a ton of chest plates because for some reason I couldn't get my hands on the mace, and I keep. Drawing the chest plate. Even now, when I play Survivor casually, not aiming for gear, I keep on getting the chest plate as well. Yeah, that should fill up the shots to a sizable amount. Alright, both just over a thousand. That should tie us over for a couple of pieces of gear at least. But let's just quickly um, fuse it up. Same as all the other. Um, four star gears in terms of the shard cost as well as the credits cost but um, as we are doing so let's just um, take a look at it um, now the last effect doesn't seem to um, be changed by um, adding it so we do have the master's death card looks something like what the joker would use but we do get 0.5% um, blocking style slash damage we do get 0.5% uh, um, area damage and we do get a higher and higher chance to deal um, more and more unblockable chance on tagging so hmm. all right so at maximum well wow, and that took like about 500 shards no 400 shards but yeah so at maximum we have after tagging block blocking stops 20% less damage was for 6 seconds. I did talk a little bit about this gear in the update video, which I said that this ability isn't really too um, good because I don't want my opponents to be blocked in the first place. So the first ability, basically to me, I'm just going to ignore it. It isn't really helping me at all. So we have two area effects. So opponent's team takes 15% from the special attacks, and opponent's team takes 35% uh, of your combo ender. And combo ender, I think... Um, I think that it could be good, but I don't think you want to rely on your combo ender to deal your damage. Like, I guess you could use the Master's Death Cut in conjunction with the Gauntlets of um, Ezreal as well as the Super Pill. Or Rage Algo Scimitar. Um, any of the four. Um, that could work. Especially on... The only character I come to mind that I think can really, really benefit from this is like Flashpoint Deathstroke with his Flashpoint team because his... Combat is so long, you're going to be doing a ton of healing, a ton of damage, and whatnot. And lastly, we have 100% chance to deal 20% unblockable damage on Tagging, which is basically a slightly um, wired down version of um, Cassandra King Batgirl's passive. So um, I don't know if it stacks, and I don't have Cassandra King Batgirl, so I don't, I can't test that. But first effect to me is useless. Um, the damage on Combat could be useful. And the unblockable chance on tagging is good. I mean, if you tag in like... And this one, I believe, is based off their maximum health. Um, I believe. Oh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what 20% unblockable damage is. It, it, it might be based on your damage stat. And 100% area effect opponent's team takes 15% damage from your special attacks. That's great. I mean, it's basically just um, sort of like... Because it does work on both specials, so if you compare it to the League of Assassin's Adept Knives and the like, Forceful Mace, so the Adept Knives um, does take 50% damage from special, which is way more, and the Mace um, does give 15% uh, as well. 
Oh, so it's the same as the maze, I, I, I believe. Yeah, so it's the same as the maze, but uh, if you want to focus on special 1, the adapt knife is still way better. So overall, I think this gear, I think it's slightly underwhelming to me. I, I feel like the first effect isn't too useful. I feel like the second effect, if I were to do special 1, I would be using the adapt knives, and I wouldn't be using this. And... The area effect opponent's team takes 35% damage from your combo ender. I think that could be good. Uh, potentially. But I think it's not great. And the, I think the best um, ability is the last one. So let's go and do some testing. And I don't want to go to bonus battle 8 again. Let's go to bonus battle. Actually, why not? Let's just stay on bonus battle 8. If we get destroyed, it's not too bad. So let's recharge our team. And... I, I'll just give it to the Arkham Knight since uh, he has the most um, like combo ender. He has like a three hit combo ender, so that he kind of can benefit from that. So um, this one also involves tagging in, so we want to put Arkham Knight in second position. Um, let's replace. Um, let's replace the customs rifle for this one. And let's put Batman in first position. Right, there we go. Let's go into the next fight and let's see what he can do. Right, let's get Arkham Knight in here. Ooh, wow. Oh, we, it did, we did get some power from that. And, alright, power drain and... Oh, we got tagged out though. That sucks. And our power is gone. Sinestro is irritating. Alright, let's see what Batgirl can do. Probably gonna destroy his team. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, um, ooh. Oh, wow. Um, Scorpion gonna do some work. There we go. Can see the damage from the combo ender um, from the sight portrait. So I'm gonna get off a special 2. And... Shazam eliminated. So um, that wasn't really too good because we got tagged up by Sinestro. But um, I do believe the 20% unblockable damage does come in a, a lot of hits and it gives you nearly a bar. So that's something. Let's check that out again. Alright, so we're going to tag in. Um, right, we're going to do this first. We're going to tag in. Bam, 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 bam. And it isn't 20% of their health. I guess it's 20% of your damage stack. Because that was a really little amount. So that may not be as good as I originally thought. So this gear may not be so good after all. He's at 2 bars. So we want to quickly drain him up. And you guys can see. But the amount that you do is not that much. Let's just get off the Gotham Knight. Even though probably we're going to end up getting health swapped. And we do. And it did a sizable amount in terms of... Oh... That's not good. Uh, in terms of the uh, special two uh, area effect damage, uh, Wally West portrait was already like bleeding slightly. Let's get Wally West out of here. Let's get Lobo out of here. And yeah, so that was pretty good. I do want to see how much damage the area effect does. So I'm gonna try to kind of get off. Um. Our special 2 and then see how much damage it takes from the combo ender and special 2 air effect. And that, 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 um, last part did virtually nothing to Martian Manhunter, because probably because he was in defense form and apparently it is affected by that uh, defense form. So I'm gonna wipe out Ares with special 2. Uh, actually, he's gonna activate a special 1 on us first. There we go. Right, so Martian Manhunter. Um, Alright, so um, we're going to check out how much Jessica Cruz has left when Jessica Cruz tags in. So that will be the amount of damage our special 2 and our combines has been doing to her. And meanwhile, uh, we're not going to activate special 1 because we want to see how much damage Jessica Cruz took. And that was uh, that's a decent amount, I guess. Not the best, but decent. I believe that Wally West took way more damage in the last fight. And she's just blocking everything. <laughs> but yeah. 
There we go. So we're going to wipe out Jessica Cruz. As well as Martian Manhunter. As soon as we get a hit off on him. There we go. Alright, so... Not exactly a whole lot, but... We're just going to do a, um, some further testing, because... I, I kind of want to see its potential. So, let's attack the Arkham Knight in. And it didn't do a whole ton of damage. So, I guess 20% is based off your damage set. And since Bonus Battle 8 has um, characters with really high stats, I guess that doesn't make so much of a difference in this particular Bonus Battle. Ooh, just took that from Scorpion. And again... Oh, right, and a little bit of a tight spot here, but we're going to try to heal up. And let's get Batman in. Alright, oh, so I did do a sizable chunk against um, Yellow and Hal Jordan. And as well as um, Arkham Origins Batman, look at that amount. That's, like, that's a pretty sizable amount. So, I guess that it is pretty good. Let's hack him back in. Ooh, we got up to two bars. Um, from that, so I, I guess that it's almost like a mini um, Tantu term in the fact that it does give you nearly a bar when you tag in. So that's like a hidden effect. And since the unblockable damage didn't do too much, 20% uh, I guess is based off her damage. So it didn't do too much, so I guess that I would almost convert that text to like getting a bar of power when you tag in. Because it does give you a sizable amount, so... Let's tag him in again, and let's check it out without attacking. So, yeah, that gave my opponent over a bar, but it gave me nearly a bar. And I do believe that when they're getting hit by it, you do you are able to um, attack them. Um, Black Iron being really irritating. All right, we're gonna try to heal off. All right, so all right, we're gonna get him out of here first. All right, we're just gonna block. You can heal up, try to heal off our special two, but. Let's try to tag him back in. Ooh, uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. Uh, all right, let's just um, use back and just get rid of Doomsday. Well, uh, Harley kind of messed things up for us, but yeah. So he isn't actually a no health, but yeah, the twenty percent damage doesn't do too much. So I I do believe that this gear is good, but not great. Definitely nowhere near the totem level, and I think. Um, it's just a regular, like, 5-star gear. It isn't anything really, really special, in my opinion. But, I think on the right character, like, perhaps Deathstroke, it could be a monster, like, with that monster combo end of his. Or, like, Jessica Cruz Green Lantern, maybe? Ouch. I'm just playing really recklessly here. Ah, it's blocked. That's irritating. Ooh. We're on the verge of dying here. But we are getting off our basic combo. And somehow we're still alive, but Batgirl does save us. And we're just gonna get rid of Superman. See if we can get rid of Wonder Woman. There we go. Flash is in and we are we get knocked out. Ouch. That hurts. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to quickly get rid of the Flash. And yeah, that's about it for the testing of the Master's Death card. So, I guess it's an okay piece of gear, but I don't think it's really great. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this video, and goodbye.